Welcome back one and all to All The Beer No Idea. I'm Baz. Uh, we've got another beer review for you now. And finally, it's it's the final beer out the Father's Day uh, box set. I do apologise about me jumper and everything. Not seeing for well, a t-shirt, I should say. Looking right old scruff bag, aren't I? <laughs> uh, yeah, where was I? The final beer out the Super Dad box set uh, that I got for Father's Day off Courtney. So thank you very much, Courtney. There's been some cracking beers in there. It's been very enjoyable. Thank you very much, if you happen to watch this. Uh, yeah, and I've only ever had one beer from this brewery before. It was out the supermarket, and it was Milk Foley. And it was a milkshake IPA, I believe, if I remember rightly. And this is from Turning Point Brewing Co. And this is a can of their Hot Charge American IPA. 330ml can. This is coming in at 5.5%. Uh, like I say, I'm new to uh, Turning Point Brewing Co. I don't think I was a huge fan of that, uh, I think Strawberry and Cream Milkshake IPA. I think it was Strawberry and Cream IPA. I don't think I was a huge fan from what I can remember. It was kind of, it didn't do it really for me. Uh, and that was four quid. Anyway, back to this one. Hop Charge American IPA. Like I said, 330ml can, 5.5%. I'm hoping this is going to be good. My good friend Jonathan Brown from Northern Southern Beer Reviews. Big fan of these. Probably his favourite brewery, I believe he says. So uh, I'm hoping this is going to be good. So just a quick... There we go. A little lightning thing. I do like the artwork on there. Very nice indeed. Let's get it out the can. Get it into a glass. And see what we get. And another one that's been filled up so much that it's decided to show us it's alive. So a little bit lively. American IPA. So I think I should be expecting this to be piney, a bit grapefruity, malty backbone maybe as well. Quite malty in there. Yeah, a little bit lively that. Uh, could be a bit of sediment in the bottom maybe. So in a glass, you're probably getting a, a more realistic colour. I'm in the dark a little bit here. Very orange, very hazy. We've got two and a half finger, quite spacious white head on top. I can't see any carbonation with the light I'm sitting in, so I do apologise. Oh, uh, but it looks decent. It looks decent. So let's give her a swirl. Let's dive in on the nose. Ooh. I'm struggling to pick, to de define the, the aromas in there. Hoppiness in there. There is a sort of malty back, backness, back, back, backness to it, backbone to it. Um, I think I'm getting sort of like a, a grapefruity sort of aroma as well. Or well, certainly a big citrus sort of aroma, I would say. Anyway, there's only so much you can sniff, aren't there? So let's try and get a bit more in there. Definitely gone hazier. And I saw plenty of, yeah, see plenty of carbonation going up there. Gone hazier. So without further ado, let's dive in and see what we get. Cheers, everyone. Oh yeah, Jesus, oh, that is tangy. It's dry hops with mosaic, Amarillo, Simcoe, Cascade, Centennial and, and Sab Sabro. Maybe the Sabro normally gets like a, a coconutty thing. Yeah, it's definitely got any of the, the, the beers I've had with Sabro hops in. I'm starting to sort of recognise that sort of aroma with it. Yeah, maybe a bit coconutty in there. But let's go in again. I'll tell you what, let's get the rest out. Nearly five minutes in. Boring your shit, this probably. <clears throat> yeah, so. Heavy body on it got a good good body to this this is quite heavy gently carbonated I would say but you know it's in there I'm 
reasonably smooth, mouth feels quite nice. Not, I wouldn't say it, it's outstanding, you know, but it's very good. It's a very decent sort of mouth feel to it. There's something I just can't pick up in there. Maybe it is that Sabro hop. Definitely getting pininess in there. Definitely getting that hop sort of. Tang to it. It's it's sort of juicy, and it feels quite heavy, juicy if you like, almost. But not. How can, it's hard to describe it. It's hard to describe this one. There's the bitterness is almost a tartness, uh, very sort of tangy, and I can't quite pick out what that is. This is actually I'm finding this review quite hard. Because I don't know, I just can't put my finger on anything really. It's hoppy, it's sort of tart, it's sort of bitter. There's sort of a sweetness in there. I feel like I'm getting an inkling of mango as well or something, but but not mango and getting that mango sweetness, but without the taste of mango. Uh, do you know what? I haven't done many reviews where I'm actually lost for words for which I can't really pull anything out. Excuse me, but I am struggling and I'm just wondering if it's uh, I don't know. I'm wondering if that That sort of taste as well as the Sabro hops. I don't know Is it enjoyable let's get to that five and a half percent Yeah, I think it's drinking around that no real sort of alcohol burn or anything, but it's got that weight weight to the beer that makes you feel like you're drinking sink. Uh, is it nice enough? Yes, it is nice enough. It does have that different taste, which I'm going to assume is with the Sabro hops. Might not be to everyone's palate. Uh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily not to my palate, but it's not something I wouldn't, I wouldn't rush out and buy it for myself, but I'd happily drink it if it was there. So yeah, for me, Apologies for this review. Turning Point Brewing Co's Hop Charge. Uh, you'd have to give that a try because I, I really don't think I can say yes or no. Uh, it's drinkable enough. It's all right. Uh, what flavours are in there? If you've watched this video, you're going to know that I was struggling with what I can get out of it. It's going to be one you're going to have to go and pick up yourself. Uh, but if you've had it before, feel free to comment. I do apologise. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to. 8 minutes 45, I'm going to shut the fuck up, leave you all to it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again on another beer review. Cheers.